Hello, New York. Hello, New York. It's our first morning in New York, and we are up bright and early. Have you ordered Starbucks? Um, yes. We have Starbucks. It's also kind of hot in here. Do you know if it's No, it's cold. Really? I feel like they're blasting the aircon. No, not in here. I feel like I'm. Maybe you have the air on in your room. No, I didn't turn it on though. I think it just automatically turned on itself. I don't have. It's. I think. Oh, it, it is up. I think it's so cold. Anyways, we are gonna sit down and get ready for the day. Don't know how I'm supposed to hook this to the chair, but. Oh my god, that's so cold. Yeah, that is cold. Oh. No, but it's quite nice. No, it's not. I like the cold air. So we're just getting ready for our first day in New York. And Today, we I have some Starbucks on the way. But yeah, we're just gonna get ready. It's looking a little gray outside. Where is the blue I'm really sky? Confused on the weather, to be honest. It was like raining last night when I arrived and storming. Yeah, it was when we arrived too. Because we arrived separately. Yes. Actually arrived a few hours later and then quickly popped in and said hi. And then we're also staying in different rooms, which we'd never have stayed in. Yeah, usually we're rooms. always just in the same room. We usually get yeah, in the same room. So it was very it was very strange last night. We have a bit of privacy. We haven't got accommodation for like our last few nights here because we're just unorganized yeah, we really and we haven't organized that. that. So we really need to book that, but we'll obviously be in the same room then. Should we just like extend one here? Make it easier. Yeah, we could, but then I'm like, I kind of want to try like somewhere new. Yeah. And because I've seen so many people recommend like so many different amazing hotels in New York and like they're all pretty close True. by But it would be cool to like experience another one. Oh, Flying always like screws my skin up like it's not doing too bad at the moment I just felt like everything was so dry on the plane like my nose mm. was like hurting because of how dry it was How long was your flight from New Zealand? 16 hours oh. That's crazy. I know. Did you sleep much of it? Like a couple of hours, but I tried not to because I wanted to be able to come here and at night and go late, straight to sleep. Yeah. It is kind of weird that like Australia is going to sleep right now. I know, it's really weird. I um downloaded this app called Time Shifter. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like it basically just tells you like kind of how to avoid jet lag and and like it gives you tips on like when to see like bright light and when to like kind of wear sunglasses and like avoid light. And it's like leading up to your trip, but also like the first few days of your trip as well. And it tells you like when to have coffee, when to not have coffee. And so yeah, I did it like the few days leading up to the trip and then like I'm following it now as well. And it's pretty good, like I'm not gonna lie. So I also watched New York Minute on the flight over. For us, it's just such an iconic movie. Like, mm. we literally, I can't even preface, like, we grew up obsessed, obsessed with, with the movie. Olsen twins and that movie in particular. Like, mm. it was just, I feel like that movie is what shaped my per perception on New York and, like, really glamorized it and just romanticized it for me. Um, so I watched it on the plane and was very nostalgic. Yeah, it is a really good movie. I just love them so much. I've started watching Grey's Anatomy. Which is super random, and like I'm the type of person who just like doesn't watch movies, doesn't watch shows, but like my friend was recommending it to me and was like saying like you just need to like watch it. So I downloaded the first season for the flight, um, and binge watched the whole first season. Was it good? <laughs> it's pretty good. I also downloaded and started watching the series Painkiller. It looks a bit melted because I've been sitting there for so long. I just got an iced latte with syrup as well, which I did request straws. Um, also, I quickly ran down to the lobby to collect our coffees. And I feel like it's a normal thing in Australia to just like go, go down with no shoes. Fun. Yes. <laughs> I was being side-eyed in the elevator by like a oh little boy. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Do you get sugar free? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted caramel, but they don't have caramel. So I'm excited caramel. Well, not sugar free caramel. Oh, just no. caramel. But yeah, we're just finishing, we're just quickly getting ready. Wouldn't it be nice to be a boy and you can just 
wake up and have no, a shower and go out. Why? Like, I quite like being a girl, to be honest. Yeah, true. But like, we have to like sit here for an extra hour and get ready and do it's our makeup so and fun. stuff. I nearly finished my makeup. We really need to speed up as well. But yeah. we we're just talking about how we want to do hips shopping while we're here. Because I feel like when I travel, that's my excuse to justify why I want to go shopping is because I'm in a new city. So like, we have. There's a lot of like different stuff here has, compared exactly. to Australia. Like Australia doesn't have good shopping. But it's definitely a lot more expensive here. Like your coffee was literally like sixteen Australian dollars. Just, Just for one. a Starbucks. Yeah, yours. Anyways, pretty much done and ready. Just yeah. finishing up some touches, gotta to do my lips, gonna, gonna straighten my, my hair, hair which well. I need to come to yours because you have the straightener. I feel very overwhelmed with my outfit choices. I know, I feel like I have so many outfit choices and I don't know what to wear either. Oh, it's quite loud. Um, we're getting on a cruise to do a little tour around the Statue of Liberty. We just went and did a little ferry tour of the Statue of Liberty. Um, but it was really cool because they had like a little lady on the speaker telling you like the history behind everything, the story time. Um, and now we're just going for a bit of a stroll and we're gonna go get some pizza slices, which I've, a lot of you guys recommended Joe's Pizza, so I'm excited to try that. I, I said like when we got here, I was like, first thing I wanna do, I wanna have like traditional New York pizza slice. Slice pizza, we saw like the, the little food stand with the pretzel and the yeah, hot dog. A, I've got like so, a list of New York foods I want to try while I'm here. Hot dog, pretzel, Ooh. lots of bagels. Steph, I bagels. Have the hot dog. Yeah, the hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> We're just walking to Fifth Ave, which is apparently like the main street or the it street. Apparently, um, a lot of movies were shot there too. Which I don't think I'll be able and to. And according, is it raining? According to the map, that's where a lot of the shopping is. So we're just going to go there and have a little walk around. We didn't really plan to leave at do our shopping on the first day, but we have some free time. So we're going to see what what there is. Nice. Try not to break the bank too much. We found Sephora. Look, Sierra over there. They're gonna have so much stuff in here that we don't have. So it's only day one and I wasn't expecting to already be doing shopping but we had so much free time this afternoon so I was like well let's just go and walk around because we don't really have much else to do and we just found a few shops along the way so whenever I'm shopping or like whenever I'm traveling I always like justify myself with buying things like I can't get it in Australia so I might as well get it here so I got a few things I didn't get a whole lot but I got this by Mario contour stick oh, it's not even on me love that I got this by Mario Contour Stick. It's like a dark one. So I'm keen to give that a go tomorrow when I do my makeup. That's what it looks like. And then I got the Refi Brow Sculpt, which I have used before. I got it last year when I was in LA. And I really liked it. I was kind of just due for a new one and it's like, you can't get it in Australia. So I was like, I may as well get it while I'm here. And then went into Aritzia. I found this really cute little crop top, which I haven't tried it on because my toxic trait is that I just don't try things on in the shops, I just buy them. But it looks really flattering, so like I feel like it's going to be really flattering on the boobies. And then I also went into a pharmacy because I needed some things. Just got razor, some toothpaste. <laughs> I've got these bodysuits, little bodysuits from Zara. I got a black one and a white one. And then this singlet. I'm not really loving my hair. Uh, but we are nearly 
ready for dinner. We're gonna go out for dinner with like the rest of the group here. We haven't really eaten that much today because we've just been like so go, go, go. I did order some Uber Eats before and had like some Poke Bowl. Um, it wasn't very nice. And Ashley ordered Uber Eats as well and hers never showed up. So hers, she's been scammed. Guys, my top literally keeps... Oh my God, my top is buttoning open. She's having outfit malfunctions that we haven't even left yet. I, I, I can't get it back. It's not even like because it's too tight. It's just like there's a really weak button. It just popped open when I sat down. I'm having an outfit malfunction. Can you help me? What do I do? I don't know. We just arrived for dinner. That's just close to we just arrived to dinner. I, <laughs> I actually have no idea what this place is, like what sort of um, food it is. Good morning guys. Good morning. So it's I still have earlier. my pimple patch on from last night, but we went up earlier. to the hotel gym just before and wanted to try and get a good sweat and workout in. The treadmills weren't working, which was really weird because there was like two guys using it, and it was also, it was before. Just, like, busy. Yeah, it was very busy in like tiny little room. I also wanted to so, that I did not want to be up this early. I woke up at 5 a.m. I know, I had my alarm set for 8, hoping Me I'd too. get up at 8. And I woke up at 5 a.m. And I then was, like, so hot. Once I woke up, I couldn't go back to sleep. So here we are. Yeah. And the weather so now, is so strange. We're going to walk to a CBS. And then there's also a cafe around the corner, which someone has said it's giving like Melbourne coffee shop, like Australian coffee. So we're gonna go and check that out because I really want to go and check that out. Also, excuse my people patch. You pretty much that. I know. Just wanted to mention again. Um, but yeah. Guys, today has been such a big day and I'm really starting to feel it. Like I feel so zonked right now. That's like the only word I can use to explain how I feel. So today we had the big day with Sarah V, which is like the main event for why we're here. And it was like the Acne Academy and it was like back to school theme. And like the effort they put into it was just insane. Like it, the whole day was planned out like a school day. And so we had like our intro um, and then we had, so like there was an assembly where they did like a bunch of, bunch of like talks and things like that and there were special guests and Charlie D'Amelio spoke and uh, a couple of dermatologists and things like that. And then we had, um, then we had lunch and it was like, the closest experience to so like the cafeteria lunch in America because we don't really have that here. And then we had classes. So we did gym class, music class, art class, and science, and then a recess as well. But it's just been like such a long day. And then at the end we had like a little graduation ceremony. Uh, and then now we're all just getting ready for like the after party tonight and it's sort of sort of like the prom that's what they called it so i'm just getting ready for that but we had a few hours in between before the prom and i like slept for like maybe 40 minutes like i think i literally set an alarm on my phone put my phone down and just like closed my eyes laying flat on the bed like this and just fell asleep straight away 
and then I woke up just feeling so much worse. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup a little bit because it just looks really oily. Won't need a disco ball at the prom tonight because I will be it. My face is glistering. Morning. We've got Good our morning. coffees. Got lipstick on your straw. How do you not get lipstick on your straw? Today we're well. This morning we're just walking around Central Park, going for a little stroll. Um, I feel like you get a different Three scent donkeys. every. Did you get that? Get different scent every like twenty meters. But we just walked past the dog park. And it was so cute. Yeah, the you got little dogs running around. Little. little Rufus dog, little Goldie. But yeah, it's really cute actually. Like, and it's nice to be in some nature, even though we're still in the city. Mm. It's really cool how there's like a big park in the middle of the city. Yeah, it's huge. Like, apparently, we're gonna be walking a little bit. But it's a bit chilly this morning too. It's a little chilly. Oh also, my pink shoes, if you guys listen to the podcast, they're making their debut. You have to get today. So we just come to lunch at Sarah B and we're at Ruby Rosa, which is actually really good. Yeah, it's a really popular place in New York and then it's like Italian food and it looks really, really yummy. So. Mozzarella. Arugula. I feel like arugula is a big thing. Oh, that's nice. I'm so full. We've made a solid effort though. We haven't vlogged since lunch because we literally just went straight to our rooms and I honestly felt so, not sick, but just like unwell from how much of a food coma I was in. Also, just how tired I was. And I really wanted to have a nap and a shower. But I also didn't have enough time because I needed to wait for us to start getting ready for this Broadway show tonight. Which is really exciting. So we're going to a Broadway show. And I feel like when you're in New York, how can you not go to a Broadway show? Like, in Broadway. Like, it's literally the Broadway. Best of the best. So that's really, really exciting and amazing opportunity. Um, Ashley has not replied to me at all. I've also just ordered a Diet Coke to the room because I need a pick-me-up. Like, I just feel so dead and tired. And I'm gonna go knock on Ashley's door because I have a feeling she's fallen asleep. Did you fall asleep? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so loud. The horns here are like next level. We're going to Wicked tonight. We're going to go watch the Broadway show. The Broadway show. Yeah, Wicked. Oh, well. I was just Ooh. half asleep for like... My heel just went in the little vent thing in the I was ground. just asleep for a few hours all afternoon. But I'm awake and I'm alive and I'm back. I and also Times Square is just around the corner, so I think I really want to go after, after this. They have their secrets. <laughs> have another drink, my dark eyed beauty. I've got one more night. Alright, so we're going to split our New York vlog into two parts. Um, the first half we were like lucky enough to come with Sarah B. And we, done, we did heaps of stuff in this vlog and I feel like we got to see a lot of New York, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, and we thought we'd outro this vlog and just show you a little haul of quickly, stuff we bought. Yeah, quickly do a haul of stuff that we bought throughout the first part of the trip. And I, then we're going to end the vlog here and start the next one, which is going to be us on our own. Not with Sarah B, just like a couple days that we've just, we're going to explore ourselves. Yes, yeah. so and we're like yeah. moving hotels um, to a different location in New York as well. So we'll get to explore like somewhere else. I didn't really do much shopping in this vlog, but I'm hoping to do some shopping today and tomorrow. Yeah. I did buy this Huda Beauty lip pencil, and I put it on today, and I love their lip pencils. Like, I have one in the warm brown color as well, and I usually mix lip pencils, like, color-wise and, like, create my own, like, color concoction 
all the time, which is also what I did, but I just love these lip pencils. Like, if I could have one in every single color, I would. So, they're so I did creamy. some shopping at Zara. I got this little singlet. Um, Olivia's already had it before, and I liked it. So yeah, I got it from South Korea, if anyone can get it. Which, to be honest, I feel like I didn't need to buy this stuff from Zara, because I'm sure Australia Zara has it too. Mm. But it's just more special, because I got it from New York, you know? Cream contour. Oh, I got that too. Well. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to bring it out. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah I got that too. I actually really like it so far. Um, but I also ran into a souvenir shop yesterday and got some souvenirs. This um, is also, ooh. This is also, um, my booth by Bryant. That was at the CeraVe prom night I did. Yeah, we got one together as well, which you would have seen on my Instagram. I got a fridge magnet because I just feel like everywhere I travel, I need to collect a fridge yeah, magnet. I, feel like I, I don't know what it is. I need to um, and then... I got this I Heart New York top because I feel like I've seen it on Pinterest and it's just like so cute. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna get ready to go head to our next hotel. I'd love to. I also love time. that checkout here is 12. Like, yeah. they're not rushing you out the door at like 9 or 10, which is amazing. Love that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in our next New York vlog. Thanks for watching.